In this tutorial, we will look at scholarly information and how it is different from what you typically find in Google. Google is a fast way to look up restaurant reviews, and Wikipedia is a great place to find factual information about a country. But what about when your need for information goes beyond simple, everyday questions? Is Google still the place to get the best resources when you are writing an academic paper? Let's take the topic of parenting styles as an example. As you can see here, you get a very long list of results. Take a close look at some of these. Can you easily tell who the author is? When was the information produced? What was the author's reason for producing the information? Is the information provided reliable and trustworthy? Let's consider how search ranking works. Ideally, the most relevant and credible results should appear at the top of the list. Less useful results should be further down. Did you think this is how Google works? Reality is unfortunately not so simple. Search engine optimization describes techniques to make certain results appear high in the rankings. Google considers over 200 different factors, including how popular a site is among other websites. Advertisers and corporations spend huge amounts of money to make sure their results appear first. This means that you can never be sure that your results list is free from SEO manipulation. This, combined with the overwhelming number of results, can make doing academic research on Google very frustrating. One temptation to relieve this frustration is to rely on one popular website, Wikipedia. You probably already know that anyone can edit Wikipedia. But in fact, very few people actually edit Wikipedia articles on a regular basis. Those that do tend to be white men, meaning that there is a potential for bias. For these reasons, Wikipedia itself notes that citing Wikipedia in research papers may be considered unacceptable. Therefore, you won't be able to use Wikipedia in your literature review assignment. Google is also not your best choice, as it does not search deeply into paid databases. This is where much of the world's high-quality, scholarly information can be found. So, how can you access these resources? OneSearch, the library's main search tool, is a good place to start. Unlike Google, OneSearch places more emphasis on keyword relevancy when displaying results. As OneSearch is paid for by the library, there are no companies trying to manipulate the order of your results list. You'll find a tremendous variety of material in OneSearch, all of which are high quality. Let's take a quick look at some of the major categories of scholarly information that you will find through the library's OneSearch platform. First are books and ebooks, all of which have been purchased by the library. No paywalls here. Books are important to research because, unlike many online articles, they have been through a rigorous review process prior to publication. This takes time, but ensures high quality. You will also find journal articles in OneSearch. These quality sources have gone through a process called peer review. This involves the editor of a journal seeking the advice of at least two reviewers. If they do not think the article is good enough, it will be rejected. Even if they think the article is good, they will usually make suggestions to improve it. Only when the editor is satisfied will the article be accepted and published. OneSearch also provides access to other sources, such as magazines, newspapers, and documentaries. Although not as scholarly as peer-reviewed articles, the journalists and filmmakers that produce these sources also ensure quality. Here's a summary of the benefits of using scholarly sources in your academic work. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask a librarian.